And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our second Jinx deck today. It's Jinx Day. We are going to be trying out a Callista Jinx deck. I wanted to see how Jinx did with uh, Shadow Isles because Shadow Isles has some really good aggressive stuff. Y'all know like Bark Beast, Curse Keeper, Blighted Caretaker, like that kind of stuff, and you know Curse Keeper, Ravenous Butcher. Um, so I wanted to, like maybe have like that kind of start with Shadow Isles and have Jinx kind of at the top end. So we're going to have Callista in here because we're going to be kind of slaying some of our own um, allies and uh, we'll have some allies die. And it's also just another really good aggressive attacker. So another couple of four threes. Um, but then I'm also putting in Kyrian Sumpworker because I think Kyrian Sumpworker is still really, really underrated. And so we're going to be trying out Kyrian Sumpworker with our other Jinx decks. Um, so the, just the Kyrian Sumpworker iterative improvement combo this version with Sh Shadow Isles also has Stalking Shadows, where Stalking Shadows can, if you Stalking Shadows and grab Sump Worker, you can play the Ephemeral one first and then play the real one and, and kill off the Ephemeral one. Um, so this kind of gives us like another champion in our deck. Um, but then like, you know, Iterative Improvement's also like really good with Doom Beast, right? And Stalking Shadows is really good with Doom Beast as well, as far as closing games out. Um, also go in Stygian Onlooker, another card that's awesome with both Stalking Shadows and Iterative Improvement. Because, um, you know, like turn 4, turn 5, you know, you play something first, then you play Onlooker, and now you have a 4-1 Fearsome, which is really powerful for only one mana. And, you know, you can, you can copy it and, and get some more uh, Fearsomes and stuff, too. That, that, that could be pretty cool. So let's go ahead and try this out. So, you know, like we're going to be real aggressive with Shadow Isles. Then we'll have Jinx for, like, whenever we run out of gas. Um, Jinx will be getting us more cards and... Uh, everything like that. So let's give it a try. Callista Jinx. Aurelia Azir. Um, I'm not sure to keep. Obviously, we're keeping this 1 2 3. This 1 2 3 is great. It's the get excited. I'm not so sure about. I'll go ahead and mulligan it. I'm not so sure about that. I could definitely see keeping it. They're too scared. They don't want to block. Blocking's the way to go. Alright, double sparring student is is so good for Blighted Caretaker. Gotta love seeing that. Um, you know, hope they don't have like Dune Keeper. Ah, Ribbit Dancer. Wonder if... Maybe I should do this and let them... Try to trade with one, I guess. Could block Caretaker. Maybe I should be sacrificing Caretaker to Ravenous Butcher. But I think that's fine. They took a lot of damage right there. We obviously have like fading icon, right? Like we have like these other cards that we want to sacrifice anyway. Sharima, your emperor has returned. Remember me, little one. Please. Doom Beast is cool. All right, let's attack. Sedition. Focus. Focus. Doesn't seem like the best one to bounce. What do you call that it just costs two mana. It must be nice having champions. All right, so we really want to draw uh, Stalking Shadows, Iterative Improvement, more Doom Beast. Not a one drop. I wish I could give you silks. 
but I must give you Tell the people what you have seen today. Our deck looks really good though. <laughs> For just having like ones and twos, right? We didn't have anything really powerful. Um my opponent had some powerful stuff, but I have to say I was impressed with how our deck looked. We're just having ones and twos. Oh, I guess I, sh I should have blocked with the Doom Beast also, because every unit's going to be bigger than a one power now, so I, I sh should have blocked with that. Yeah, so I should have saved one life with the Doom Beast. Why not block with the O1? Because I was planning on the O1 blocking these things. So if they have a pump spell, I lose. But if they don't, I have... I have, like, a great open attack back at them. Theoretically here they have to block with everything and their whole board dies. Including like, you know, getting rid of two champions. Man, played perfectly. Gotta hope they don't notify. <laughs> Showtime. Let it go. Let it go. Take three, yes! Let's go, alright. Callista, Jinx, 1 and 0. Oh. And we didn't get our, our Sump Worker champion, we didn't get Callista as a champion, we didn't get Jinx as a champion. We didn't have Stalking Shadows for multiple Doom Beasts. We had none of that. Just a whole bunch of 1s and 2s and we still got through Aurelia Azir. Wow. Alright, playing against some other aggro. Elise, so it's going to be Spider Burn with Fearsomes and stuff. I'm going to actually just mulligan these two. I don't, I don't really want to, like, play the one of them as, like, two zero ones and then sacrifice and, you know, like, that's two cards right there. It's not the best trade for us, but we don't want to just take a bunch of damage. It's not the worst trade either. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. Just trade one mana card for one mana card. There's the Stalking Shadows. Finally. Um, I guess... No, I guess it's Curse Keeper, isn't it? So let's see. Next round. Because, like, one Curse Keeper can die because it's ephemeral. The other one we can kill with this Caretaker. Yeah, I guess it's Curse Keeper. Yeah, Maztec, it's Jinx Day. Made in time for Jinx Day. Of course, I, I much rather would have had Doom Beast or Sump Worker with that Stalking Shadows, but... 
No, no casino. No casino. Just went with just went with Jinx Acro decks. Just like some you know, wanted to kind of build some some new decks that we don't play and or see and try them out. Like this one right here. <laughs> well, they only had one card, so not much of a decision. And it was House Spider. Oh, House Spider is very good. But not so great against Fearsome. But it is very good at leveling up Elise. Yeah, it's going to level up Elise pretty good. This is gonna hurt. We could use a bite. Decline. Take nine or block with this onlooker. I, wish, I kinda wish I didn't play the Ephemeral Curse Keeper right now. That was not easy to caretake her. Oh man, they hit Doom Beast with Stalking Shadows. They got two Stalking Shadows. I'm jealous. It's the the O one comes into play that puts an O one into play. Oh, the three one, the three one, right, right. right. I was gonna say like what? Okay, the three one. Everyone's a garden. Yeah, I really wish I'd put in the other curse keeper, not the ephemeral. Blighted Caretaker plus Sumpworks Posse is pretty cool. No. Oh, that hurts. Oh, that's too bad. Alright, so they still get to keep Elise in play. You know they have more Doom Beast. Wow. Not even going after the posse. Will Callista put the posse back? No, Callista will still put the 4 3 back into play. And they just pass the round? They're just letting me go to attacks? They're just letting me attack like this? All attack. Not mine.
Okay. They went through a lot of trouble there. Right, they have that Doom Beast. Yeah, it's still worth doing this. Level up the Jinx. Because now we have, like, the opportunity to, like, draw a Doom Beast to finish them out. Obviously, the Super Mega Death Rocket. Um, another Get Excited. Anything like that. But in case they have more ways to heal Nexus. Thing only attacks for eight. Doesn't quite kill us. Down to four. I think that's safe. There we go. This deck's pretty sweet. We blew them all. Two and oh. <laughs> We're facing another aggro deck. It's just it's just all aggro decks these days. No, we don't have the attack token round one. Cause obviously. You know, Bark Beast, Curse Keeper, Caretaker. That's just perfect when you have the attack token around one. Yeah, Doom Beast, good card. <laughs> that'll, yep, that'll get my stamp of approval for a good card. Have we faced only aggro decks today, just in general? Like, all set, all eight now? If you count Thresh Nasus as aggro? We have a slower hand the first three rounds. Our our round four is going to be really where we're going to pick it up. Right, because I'm planning on Callista on three. And then round four, the Caretaker. A lot of things die. Callista levels up. So I want... Okay. I was going to say I wanted them just to open attack. So that we'd only be taking four damage instead of all this damage. A seven. Kind of go to seven either way. What's scarier, Battlecaster or this Reaper? I'm blocking one of those two. Yeah, it's just the difference in, in going first. Like in some of these aggro mirrors, sometimes it can be, depending on what you what you have, could be like Caretaker is a card that you really really want the attack token round three, right with Caretaker. And so yeah, this was if we had the attack token round one three, like we would be dominating this game right now. But they had it, and so they're very very far ahead. And that's okay. Like that's that's gonna happen sometimes. It's just how how life's gonna be. Yeah, it's true. We did face Draven Ezreal. They still going wide. Really don't want to see Ruin Runner, right? Like that that card would would hurt. We currently have very good blocks right now, like just from an open attack. Alright, that 
That one kind of hurts. Maybe it's better to play the Fading Icon than play Doom Beast. My plan is Doom Beast. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think I'm, so. I'm going to go Doom Beast. Because, yeah, that's predictable there. But then I guess... Because I don't want to trade away Doom Beast. Because if I play Fading Icon... It was if I played Fading Icon, it was gonna be just really difficult to like play a different spell next round to turn on Nightfall and then play Doom Beast afterwards and then like iterative improvement and get another Doom Beast kind of thing, right? Like it was gonna be difficult to do all that kind of stuff. Um, but maybe I should just be playing Callista here. All right, so if I go Improvement Doom Beast, I got two mana, so I can go Improvement Doom Beast with Fading Icon, or I can go Callista with Fading Icon. Maybe it's Callista. Callista is fearsome. Chase what you want without mercy. There is no <laughs> <laughs> only I could challenge. You lost. But still, that's really good for us getting this Ruin Runner out of here. I'm feeling very good about this now that, you know, like, their hand wasn't just, like, a bunch of decimates kind of thing. And now we, uh, kind of squeezing down with, with Doom Beast. They'll never see it coming. Boom. But they're saplings! I mean, even Darius here, like, like if they would have had Darius plus Fervor, that that could have killed me. But like even Darius, because like we would go back up to, like we would have gone to, um, you know, ten immediately. But you know, we would have blocked for four. So yeah, Darius plus Fervor would have killed me, because of the the one damage for the attack with the Legion Grenadier. That would have done exactly lethal. If they had, if their last two cards were Darius plus Fervor. Okay, two mana, discard a card. Alright, we should have this. They only have four blockers, we'll have six attackers. So we should be good. Yeah, and they currently have no fearsome blocker also. Alright, we are 3 and 0. Oh. Alright, especially care you know, Caretaker was awesome. Alright, another aggro matchup. We got Aurelia Azir back. How are we doing it? How are we going to do against it this time? So we got Bark Beast on one, Sump Worker on two. Doom Beast is great, but I don't think we just keep it in the opener. And I don't know about Bark. Bark Beast is pretty awesome, but I, with having Sump Worker, I'm really incentivized to find. There we go. Find a second Sump Worker. So we have the attack token round three. So if I don't play Bark Beast, we can go Sump Worker on two, and then round three we'll have four mana. So then we get to improvement, and then another Sump Worker, and so we can be attacking with leveled up Sump Worker on round three if I don't play the Bark Beast. So I guess that's the plan. Alternatively, I can play Bark Beast on one and then Curse Keeper Butcher on two. Alright, maybe we go with that plan. Uh, 
I kind of wish I would have gone for the Kyrian Sump Worker plan. Okay. Just wanted to see because potentially we could have had. Could have drawn Caretaker right here. Blighted Caretaker would have been nice. But yeah, if I would have gone Sump Worker plan, we would have been able to attack and take them out. But we can do that next round. Or next attack round, that is. But attacking with the Sump Worker right now would be looking pretty good. But then again, they could have had Homecoming, right? Like I could have put like the good Sump Worker in play, they Homecoming in. Where they fall, freedom grows. <laughs> I'll just attack here. I won't I won't trade Sump Worker for Green Glade Duo, but I don't know if that's like the worst trade. Ooh, definitely good I didn't play that, because then they wouldn't. They could have killed it there. Alright, they're down to nine. Doom beast. Doom beast. Things are going to be pretty big. Dang, triple green blade. This is 12 damage. We're down to 5. It's like they get to block with everything, right? Like I don't have like overwhelms. So they get to block with everything, but we're gonna wipe out their board. <clears throat> but their stuff does get to block. lethal. That, that'll do. 4 and 0. Oh. The Kyrian Sump Worker is really good. Burn. Draven Ezreal. Okay, so we finally get to play against a non uh, a non-aggro deck. So this is a removal heavy deck. So we're going to see how we do against the removal heavy deck. Now, Improvement. Do I want to keep you? I'm keeping the one drops. Even though I guess Bark Beast is kind of arguable. Mm. I'm going to get improvement from the opener. Cool. I like both those, especially Stalking Shadows. Because, you know, like we're playing against a deck that will grind you down, so we need cards that can um, help in that respect. The Stalking Shadows should help get us some extra cards. And then maybe we'll find a Jinx. The bad news is we don't get to... Um, don't get to find Doom Beast off of Stalking Shadows. I don't really have anything to caretaker. Obviously, we wanted to find like the Kyrian Sump Worker. That would have been the best, but do I go triple onlooker or do I go Doom Beast? I guess we're gonna go triple onlooker. the The problem with triple onlooker is next round is not gonna be a very good round for me, depending on what we draw. I was thinking that they were going to have Static Shock. 
but I guess Death Lotus destroys me. Because when they make when they email like that, you know that they have something good, right? Like, it's a very It's that kind of emote. It's a... Once I stand papers, now faces. Can you improve perfection? Oh. A ticket to the gun show. So I thought I thought it was gonna be static shock though. I haven't really seen very much Death Lotus in this deck. But they got me. Well, with what our hand looks like, Ballistic Bond really fits in quite well. Can you improve yeah, it's obviously it's obviously supposed to be for a really Azir, which is why they're playing it. But that worked out perfectly against me. So we're trying not to fall too far behind. But it's, <laughs> it's kind of hard when you get four for one. Okay, good. No ravenous block, good. Strike was too bad. I was definitely kind of relying on that 3 4. Tribune and Probular are such a good card, too. This is just... Everything's lined up perfectly for my opponent this game. So we're, we're down, but we're not out. But we are down. Experimenter on the Nandroid would kind of be nice, but Stalking Shadow and Doom Beast are both very important cards, so I don't think I can go Experimenter on the Nandroid right now. Um, and I guess we have to take Cursed Keeper... That's actually a card I can play. And we're going to play the ephemeral one. Because it will die and get us a 4 3. I don't want to attack with it, they block, and then they, like, you know, use something to kill the 4-3. Oh, Jinx. I think we're going to have to discard you, Jinx. I think we have to go with the Experimenter this round. We can't tap Captain Farron also, right? Like, they've had all this good interaction that's worked out really well for them. They can't just also have Captain Farron, right? I thought you'd never ask. No, they can't have Ezreal. What's the worst that could happen? So unfortunately, if they just have any fast speed, then that Ezreal levels up, and then we're kind of dead. Good. All right, so no fast speed interaction, because they're at five out of six with that. So we're back in it. Good thing we saved the Experimenter. What are those cards in hand? Are they just like more Death Lotus? Everyone's a garden. Can't have any sacred cards. Sometimes you just gotta do the, the tough move. I absolutely love Kyrian Sumpworker. 
the tough play. Sometimes you gotta do the tough play. And I'm not going to have the 1-1 trade with the 2-2 because of uh, wanting the 1-1 to stay alive for my other Blighted Caretaker. The, the toughest part about killing that Kyrian there was Kyrian was the only thing that blocks this 2-3 elusive, right? Like, it's the only thing that blocked the elusive. Or like Kyrian could block the elusive, get it down to two health, and then we have Caretaker to, to save it. Or to not save it, but to, to finish it off. Gotta love this iterative improvement. Gotta love it. Remember how, <laughs> remember how um, my opponent was just like so convinced that they were gonna be winning this. Rules are made to be broken. I know this. Our people. Can't believe we've come back from this game. Augmented Experimenter was huge, but so was Doom Beast, right? Doom Beast kind of kept us alive. Improvement augmented experimenter looking pretty sweet, not gonna lie. Alright, there we go. Five and O. Oh. Wow, what a showing. Draven Ezreal, Aurelia Azir a couple of times. It'd be the spider burn. And some other aggro deck. Yeah, they didn't have Captain Farron, right? Like that was that was the thing. Like they that was the card. Like if they had Captain Farron, we probably were gonna lose. But they didn't. Um, still, they got a, You know, they they can't complain though. They got a four for one on you know with the Death Lotus, and had plenty of good stuff. Had you know multiple Tribune populators and things like that, but. Yeah, there we go. Um, this deck looked great, <laughs> you know? You know, sometimes you have like your Kyrian Sunforker iterative improvement combo that's amazing. Sometimes iterative improvement goes on your Doom Beast to finish out games. And then sometimes like the last time, iterative improvement with uh, Augmented Experimenter. That looked like a really cool way to, to, you know, get back in the game, get tons of card advantage. Um, but even like the onlookers like put a lot of pressure on people with like being a 4-1 four, four, fearsome. We even like had our opponent not be able to attack with an Elise for a round because of uh, the onlooker fearsome, you know, being a four-one. This was a really cool deck. This was really cool. And five-zero can't complain about that, man. That's it. This is what the Champion Spotlight Day is all about, right? Like building some different decks with different regions uh, to kind of show you different ways to play these champions, right? Like Jinx, you know, nobody plays this kind of deck with Jinx, right? But I thought that maybe it could do well. And it did, and so like we're showcasing uh, different ways to play these champions. Sometimes it doesn't work out, right? Like I, I remember like our uh, like our Anivia decks didn't work out that well. Um, but first, uh, first couple Jinx decks, and you know the first brand new Jinx deck look great. All right, so there we go, Callista Jinx. This will be best deck of the day for sure. <laughs> those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, as always, feel free to leave those comments. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed this one. Um, we got other ideas for Jinx or just anything like that. Let me know uh, if you try this deck out yourself. Let me know how it goes for you. You know, if this looks like a deck that you'd enjoy playing, um, you know, it's just something like that. Like, let me know how it goes for you. All right, but that's gonna be it here for Callista Jinx.
So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.